Hi there guys, Phil Kent here from Phil Kent Online. Um, I want to talk to you today about uh, value and presenting yourself and uh, how you present yourself in your online business because a lot of people um, don't seem to be doing it and they're falling into the, the trap that so many others do. And a lot of the time I don't think people even realize that they're doing it and yet they'll go through the motions themselves of what they want to be a part of which team they want to join which person they want to join and yet they're not doing that themselves and you often wonder why and I'll give you an example of that um, what will happen say a new program comes out um, that you like the look of uh, you think you might be interested in etc you've seen promoted somewhere and so the first natural reaction that people do they will go and start to um, look for reviews on that Okay, they'll uh, you know, they'll search on Google for a review, or they'll go to YouTube or somewhere like that, just to find out some reviews and what the product is all about and see if it's any good, etc. And if they like the look of it, what they'll then do, um, normally they'll go back to YouTube and they'll look for the person they want to join under. You know, some people just go straight away to um, say somebody they know or something like that. Um, a lot of people are drawn to some rotator systems, which is all well and good. You may be lucky and pick up a sale or two, but you might be very fortunate there. But you're not going to actually learn anything. You're not going to learn how to build your own business, which is what you should be looking for. Um, but more often than not, people will they'll go out and they'll they'll look for the person they want to join. And the reason behind that normally is the person that's offering the best value. They might have their own training sites. They might have uh, but some sort of bonus to offer. They might have some um, video trainings to give away. They might have some ebooks or whatever. And so that's generally the person that they, they'd be more inclined to join under. They'll look, say, that, well, yeah, this person's got this and this person's got that. And if I get, if I join with this person, then he's going to give this, this training to me or they've got their own training site or they've got a really good training focused membership, Facebook group or whatever. And yet what they what they don't seem to be realizing they're they're looking for these people to join because they're offering that sort of value that's what they're giving out to people wanting to join those people because of that and yet they're not actually doing it themselves they're just becoming some sort of um, pitch fest if you like if that's the right if that's the right phrase and uh, what people should really be doing is you know if they were replicating what they were actually looking for i.e. if they were providing the value to people, providing that training, providing some sort of bonus, providing some sort of incentive, i.e. give them a USP, a unique selling point. Because what do you need to remember in this industry is that people join people. It's as simple as that. People will always join people. Because when a new program comes out, there's literally hundreds and thousands of people that will get on board and start promoting that program. So people will look for the best people to join the best team leaders we want to be part of the great teams okay and not everyone's a born leader but it's much easier and a better position to be to have people coming to you because you're offering value you're giving out some sort of training you're providing sort of some sort of value yourself you're getting some sort of incentive or reason for people to join your business rather than be the person that's chasing around almost desperately trying to beg people to join my team join my team because they're just basically the desperation seeks in where they're trying so hard to get a sign up and that all they're doing is you know blasting their link out tagging people they've never even spoken to in posts and you know it's a crazy situation and it, it's what the masses do and this is why 97 percent of people generally fail online is because they're they're being a part of this mass culture and yet they themselves are looking for the right person to join by looking for the person that's giving the value, the, the training or whatever reason it may be. And yet they're not doing it themselves. And you think, well, why aren't you doing it? You're, this, is a, this is the person that you want to join. This is the person that you're looking for to sign under, to join and become part of their team. And yet you are not being that person that you want to join. You know, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you presenting yourself as the person that people should be joining? Why aren't you offering the same sort of value in any way that you can? Because it becomes a far easier process when you have people looking for you to join rather than you being out there desperately trying to get people to join you 
when we're actually giving them a reason just going on about you know how wonderful the product is doesn't matter what the program is and what the product is you could have the best program you could have the best compensation plan but at the end of the day people will join people and you should be giving the re people looking for um, should I say a reason for people to join you rather than why they should join your program and until people realize that and they get the difference of that and the understanding behind that and start to get their mindset correct and that they're providing that sort of value then it will always always be a struggle and this can be right down to how you present your Facebook timeline as well because so it should be representing you as a person as a real person and providing some sort of value and things like that and if I just drop uh, myself out into the corner here um, and you'll see this is my timeline, mine's no shining example but you can see um, that it's very mindset focused as the, you know let, um, <clears throat> Eric War posts there, I have you know, engagement posts um, motivational quotes, speakers from like Gary Vaynerchuk um, Robert Kiyosaki etc etc and I mix it up with some humor with some videos, it's good context you know, occasionally you might see something that I'm currently involved with. I've got a link to my blog there, or my direct uh, join pages, etc. But you get the idea. It's not, you know, um, plastered around. I mean, I went over to one of the Make Money Online groups just before, um, just before I made this video, and it didn't take me more than sort of thirty seconds to come across a bad example. Um, and if I just jump over to this Make Money Online group, now you'll see uh, when people post, this is just one of the many, many hundreds of Make Money Online groups there were. But this was just very early on, and I'm, I'm not sort of digging out this person here, this Kelly lady. Um, but when you hover over her, her name, obviously you can see the timeline picture behind, but her timeline picture behind is the same as what she's promoting and it, it just becomes like a billboard you know so what you've got to realize is where she's promoting here about this about this business what she's not doing is offering any reason for people to want to join her in particular okay now if we jump over to her profile I said I'm you know if you're watching this Kelly this is you know um, this is not a complete dig at yourself it's just what so many people fall into the same trap of now as you can see look at the difference you come down here you know and it's just littered with make money online make money online make money online make money online you know make money on the internet make money online you know it's it's endless you know it's absolutely endless you know there's nothing about her herself nothing about her story there's no motivation and let me give you another an example. Let me go over to um, like Seb Brentigan is, is a guy in the UK, the same as myself. Um, this guy has got a, a mentor and is becoming a leader himself. And just just look at the difference. Okay, you know, and his, his picture of himself is nice and clear. There's no business picture in the background. You know, look, a cool watch my girlfriend got me for our anniversary. Um, if someone ret refunds on a one dollar trial. <laughs> You know, but as you can see, look at the difference. If I just scroll down here at picking out all the posts, you can see that the difference in the posts they're talking about. They've got life pictures, they've got motivational pictures. That's him with, um, and I recently event you into with John Penbervy. And I, 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 it doesn't take rocket science to work it out. You can see the difference between somebody, you know, who's presenting themselves, and as you can see, my timeline picture I've gone just for a few a few quotes which I like I've always liked this create the lifestyle you deserve and these are two quotes that are well known but as you can see it's just myself and my partner Angie it's a picture we, we liked um, from two or three years back um, and this is and some people sometimes without having it actually pointed out to you a lot of people don't even realize that they're doing it um, and that's what you need to be doing you look for these people to join yourself and yet you're failing to do it yourself. People will always join people. Give people a reason 
to like you. Network marketing is a people business, and it's basically network marketing is attraction marketing, and you need to learn how to attract people to you, offer value in what you're doing, and offer, you know, show the people that you're a real person. Post about you know real life. Post about you know motivational stuff if that's what you want to do. Post pictures of yourself of days out of anything. You know, don't be, you know, if you all, if all you've got is your time full of business, 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 and you just pitch, 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 you know, please join me, please join me, please join me, and then a month down the line, all that changes is the opportunity changes. You know, or some people are involved in five, six, seven businesses, you know, and all you see is just like a conveyor belt going down their timeline is like a conveyor belt of businesses going past one after the other, one after the other, you know, earn X amount with this X program that goes past and then a different program comes along. Nothing there's no reason there. Why should why should they join you and not join somebody else? Why should they get involved with that program with you instead of getting involved with somebody else? You know, there's nothing there. You know, there's nothing at all. You know, and that is why people will struggle to get people on board because they're not giving any value, they're not giving any reason why they should join you instead of joining somebody else. And you've got to start presenting yourself as a person and becoming that attractor and developing that attractor factor. Because until you do, there will always, always be a struggle. And that is why so many people will always go around with nobody on their team. And they are the non people that normally get attracted to the rotator systems because they think that's their only chance of getting somebody on board. So I hope this has helped some people and just. Um, that's the easiest way. You always look for that person to join yourself. Okay, well, you need to start becoming that person that people would be looking for. And then what will happen is you'll have people coming to you instead of you looking for the people to join your business. My name is Phil Kent. I hope this helped you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care now. Cheers.